Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you my um, Lego Yoshi's Island mock. Now, um, this um, mock was actually pretty hard to build. Um, I'll go more detail um, later in the video, but um, yeah, anyway, let's just get started with the review. Okay, so this is the mock itself. So one thing you probably noticed from the thumbnail is that this is really small. I think it's only on like an 8x8 base plate. Um, it's not too big. The reason why is I was originally going to make like a, a, a huge like Lego mock or like a decent sized one. But um, if you look in the game, um, Yoshi's Island, the, uh, the, I wanted to base it off of the first level. And the first level, it's kind of like an orange yellowish with like rocks sticking out. And so that's what I did here. As you can see, I had these like um, in the game rocks stick out. So I added some over here on the side and the front here. Um, there isn't any rocks on the other side or the back. I just decided to put it on those two areas. Um, and another thing is there were like wooden bridges and stuff like that and like gaps and enemies. Um, one thing is, um, well again, I, um, I actually don't have too many yellow bricks. That's why I made it so small. And um, uh, also, um, it just kind of looks nice as a little display piece. Um, I would have loved to have included like a shy guy or something, or, uh, something like that, but um, uh, I don't have the set that it comes in. I could buy them online for I think $10 or something like that, but I'm a kid and I'm poor, so I don't have any money. But um, um, if I ever do end up getting that figure, I would definitely do a redo of this mock. But um, one thing is you may have noticed uh, this thing at the top here. This is actually, what is it, the, like, those happy, I think, star stickers or whatever, not stars, they're, like, sunflowers, yeah, those are the sunflowers, um, I did that by using, what is it, let me just take it off of this clear stand here, um, let me just really quick cut and give you a better look at this. Okay, so the flower I did, or the white part around it, I used by using, what is it, one of those, uh, white cloud pieces, I then got a headlight brick, put that under there so you could um, stick it up to the transparent pole piece. I then got, what is it? I got a yellow um, modified two by two yellow plate and put a stun underneath and just put that in the center there. Um, sadly, it does not come have like a smiley face on it like it does in the games. Um, there might be a piece out there that has like a smiley face out there um, that I could have put on there, but I don't have a piece like that. So I just did it like this, it's really simple. But, um, yeah, I think it works really well. So, yeah, back to the mock. So, one thing I added, um, another thing I added to this set was I added this small little tree on the side here. Um, I just got the one from the LEGO Mario starter course and just kind of made that a bit smaller. Um, I think it adds some really nice uh, vegetation and stuff like that. One thing is I would have loved to use a green Yoshi. That's probably another thing you've noticed. I'm surprised I didn't talk about it earlier. But um, this is actually from the Luigi Starter Course. I don't have the set with the green Yoshi, which is I have heard, if I ever do get that figure, I will definitely put that one in as well. Um, this is just the pink one. Um, it's a really cool figure. I'm not gonna show too much detail because you're probably not here to see the figure. If you are, then maybe go watch a review or something like that. Um, I actually did a review on the set. I'll link that in the description below and at the end card. But um, yeah, it's a pretty cool Yoshi figure. So that's the one I had. So I decided to use that one. One thing is if I turn the background, we actually have some uh, egg pieces right there. So those are, are supposed to represent, well, the eggs that Yoshi gets. Um, what is it? When he gets, when he kills enemies, or I mean, or eats them, or he uh, does the egg box. So I added some eggs there. They're not green and white. Um, I probably could paint these eggs white, but I don't really, you know, want to. Um, but I think these eggs look really cool, and um, yeah. Okay, so the main part of the set is there is an action feature. You may have seen this Technic uh, piece sticking out there. Uh, so that's actually for an action feature. So if I just turn this around, basically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to press down on that. And if you do that, um, he uh, basically that's supposed to represent him like jumping. Uh, I know that's not, I mean, something usually Yoshi is known for. Uh, I decided to make him jump. It, I guess it would be cool if maybe he could stick his tongue out, but Obviously, I can't do that with this uh, figure, it's too small. But um, it does also kind of represent his flutter jump that he does, so you know, it's a pretty simple. Yeah, okay, that just exploded. Okay, so sorry about that, but 
um, this connection isn't that well built because when you press on this, um, basically it like, you know, makes this piece, it, it pushes on this piece so that flies off. Um, so it's not the most stable connection, um, I know that. Um, it definitely isn't um, that good of a play feature. Like if a cube were to do this constantly, it would break a lot. Um, so yeah, not, not the best there. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this mock though, guys. Um, except for that minor setback. Um, one thing I guess I'll add is I did add some bright yellow pieces there to kind of, you know, mix the color around. But yeah, it's basically it for this video. It's a pretty short video. Um, but, um, yeah, it's basically it. I hopefully will upload an animation next week. I have an idea for one. I might do an animation. Um, or I might just do a different video. I have another video in mind. But, um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you have a great day today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.